Hello, hello, Amadeus here from Cognito, and in this video, I want to run through our atom subtopic. So instead of just telling you all the facts about atoms, I'm going to run through the questions that we include in this lesson and kind of explain how I would approach them. We'll give you some kind of tips and stuff. So as it says here, this lesson covers the structure of atoms. So what they're like in terms of the nucleus and the shells and stuff, the properties of protons, neutrons and electrons, and a little bit about how to read the periodic table, although that's mostly in the video, not in this, um, in the questions. So first off, there's the video. So you might want to watch that before watching this video that I'm doing now. And the first question is, what is the charge on a proton? So remember, it's really important that you know the charges on protons, neutrons, and electrons. The proton has a positive charge. And the way to remember that is that positive and proton both begin with a P. So P for proton, P for positive. All right. Which of the following make up the nucleus of an atom? So out of these three particles, which ones are found in the nucleus? And that would be the neutrons and the protons. Remember the electrons are orbiting around in their shells. Next up, which particle determines what element an atom is? So this is like what determines whether an atom is oxygen or nitrogen or phosphorus or chlorine or anything else. And the only important particle in that case is the protons. For example, if you have six protons in an atom, it will always be, always be carbon. It doesn't matter how many electrons or neutrons it has, if it has six protons, it has to be carbon. And similarly, if it has seven protons, then it'll be nitrogen. All right. Which particles within an atom have a relative mass of one? Yeah. So you'll notice when we draw atoms, we don't talk about absolute mass, like how many grams or kilograms they are, um, because all these particles are so, so, so tiny. It'd be like a super tiny number. Instead, we talk about relative mass. So compared to each other, how big are they? And the ones that have a relative mass of one are the protons and the neutrons. The electrons are basically like really tiny. They're about 2000 times smaller. And often we just say zero or negligible. Next, which subatomic particle does not have a charge? So not positive or negative, which one's neutral? And that one is the neutron. If you want, you can remember it as like neutral, neutron. They both start with all the same letters. All right, what do we call an atom that has a positive or a negative charge? So it may be like a one or two plus or one or two minus charge. And so we call that an ion. Remember, an element is something like oxygen or phosphorus or potassium. A positron, you actually don't learn about in GCSE, but if you did A-level physics, you would cover that. And a molecule is just a substance that has two or more atoms chemically bonded together, which I think is in a different lesson. All right, what is the charge on an electron? So an electron, that's one with a negative charge of minus one. So remember, protons are positive, electrons are negative, and neutrons are neutral. Okay. Then we have electrons orbit the nucleus in energy what? So these kind of rings, what do we call those? We call those shells. Um, sometimes they say energy levels, or you can just call them shells. It doesn't have to be energy shells. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. They kind of call them different things depending on the course and country. Um, and last up here, if an atom has six protons and five electrons, what charge will it have overall? So remember, protons and electrons are the charged particles within an atom. So if it has six protons, it will have like six positive charges, so it will have plus six. And if it has five electrons, it would be five minus charges, so five minus. So imagine if you have a six plus and a five minus, all together you have one plus. So overall that ion will have a plus one charge. And that's it. So hope that all made sense. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And I'll put the link to this lesson of our platform in the description. So you can have a go yourself. Um, otherwise, I'll catch you next time. Thanks.